Welcome to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about investment and money. So when it comes to investment and money, people have three fundamental reasons for investing. Those fundamental reasons are one, to be rich, two, to be comfortable, and three, to be secure. All these three choices are important. The differences in one life occur when the choices are prioritized. Most people, especially here in Nigeria or Africa as a whole, make their investment and money choices in order. First, to be secure. Second, to be comfortable. Third, to be rich. That is when it comes to money decision, their first choice is security. Second is comfort and third is to be rich. And that is why most people make job security their highest priority. After they have secure job or profession, then they focus on comfort. The last choice for most people is to be rich. Now stick with me to the very end of this video because at the end of this video, you realize why the 10% who own 90% of the stock are business owner. Today, I often hear people saying such things as, I just bought Mr. A company for $10 million a share. The price went up to $15 million and I sold it. I made $5 million in less than a week. Or, me and my brother buy old houses. We fix them up and sell them for a profit. Or, I trade commodity futures. Or, I have over $10 million in my retirement account. Or, I am investing for a long term. So on and so on and so on. Investing means different things to different people. Why they are bought? statement reflect different type of investment product and procedure. Most people are not investors. Most people are gamblers, speculators. Most people have the buy, hold and pray the price goes up mentality. Most investors live in hope that the market stay up. They live in fear of the market crashing. But a true investor make money regardless if the market is going up or coming down. They make money even though if they are winning or they are losing and they go both on long and short. You hear most people saying, when I make a lot of money, my money problems will be over. What what they fail to realize is that having too much money is as big a problem as having not enough money. If you want to be rich, you find out what everyone else is doing and do exactly opposite. As you watch this video, you realize that the difference between the 10% of investors who make 90% of the money and the 90% of investors who make only 10% of the money is not what they invest in, but their thinking is different. For example, well, most investors say, don't take risks. The rich investor take risks. Most investors say diversity. The rich investor focuses. The average investor tries to decrease expenses. The rich investor knows how to increase expenses to make themselves richer. The average investor has a job. The rich investor creates jobs. The average investor work hard. The rich investor works less and less to make more and more. In the world today, there are many bad days than good days. If the person is not be careful, all good and bad days seem the same. It takes great deals of experience and education to sort out the most sophisticated investment into good and bad. To be sophisticated means you have the ability to know what makes one investment good and the other bad. And so many people don't have that experience and education. And that is why we have so many accredited investors in Nigeria here and in the world in general. I know you must have probably been asking yourself, who is a sophisticated investor and who is an accredited investor? An accredited investor is someone who is qualified because he or she have the money and that's why they are often called a qualified investor. That's why you see so many rich kids invest millions in an investment scheme. These kind of people have the money but they lack the ability to distinguish between good and bad deals. So they are not sophisticated investors. This is why we often hear of so many high income people such as doctor, lawyer, footballer lose so much money in an investment. They can't tell if the investment they are going into is good or bad. And people like this should stay only in the sanitized investment only or hire a professional money manager to invest the money for them. So who is a sophisticated investor? Well, from the book, read that. Guide to investing. A sophisticated investor knows the three is which are first education, second experience, third excessive cash. If you can have the three is, then you can consider yourself a sophisticated investor. So those accredited investors have the excessive cash, but they lack the first two items. And there are many people with the right education, but they lack the experience. And without the real life experience, they often lack the excessive cash. You will see people like that say, I know when you explain things to them, but they do not do what they claim they know. And because of that, they lack the excessive cash. So what kind of investor do you really want to become? A sophisticated investor or an accredited investor? If you want to become a sophisticated investor, then you really have to have the first two E, the education and the real life experience. If you can have these two first items, then you definitely have the third E, which is the excessive cash. Yes, money will be thrown at you.
if you are here and you haven't subscribed to this channel like this video share this video i do recommend you do those things thank you let's go back to the business money will be anything you want it to be if a person says money is hard to get then it will probably be hard for him to get if a person says oh it's hard to get rich or i will never be rich then it's really true for that person if a person says the only way to get rich is to work hard then the person will probably have to work hard if a person says if i had a lot of money i'll put it in the bank because i wouldn't know what to do with it then it will happen just that way if a person say investing is risky then it is most people dream of becoming rich but it's not their first choice only three out of hundred in africa become rich through these priority choices for most people if becoming rich disturbs their comfort or makes them feel insecure they will forsake becoming rich that is why so many people want that one pot investment tips the truth is that so many people who make security and comfort their first and second choice look for a way to get rich quick that are easy risk free and comfortable a few people do get rich on one lucky investment but too often they lose it all again people do say i'd rather be happy than be rich that would always seem ridiculous to me because i've seen so many rich people being happy and unhappy and so many poor people being happy and unhappy so i wonder why people think they have to choose between happiness and being rich when i read about this i realized that what people are actually trying to say is that they would rather be secure and comfortable than being rich trust me i'm willing to be insecure and uncomfortable in order to be rich the truth is that when you are poor and unhappy you are much unhappier than when you are rich and unhappy no matter the condition you find yourself whether rich or poor just have it at the back of your mind that there will always be a time you find yourself unhappy also i've come across many people saying that money doesn't make you happy well if money doesn't make you happy feel free to transfer it to my account yeah i really do need it <laughs> yeah there's some truth in that but let me ask you some questions how do you feel whenever you make money happy or unhappy i don't really know about you but for me i'm always happy whenever i make money but have you come across when you are washing your clothes and you find money in your pocket no matter how small that money is it could be 100 naira or 10 dollar you will always feel happy yeah you you definitely be happy than when you see a bill in your pocket it will look as if they dash you the money no matter how small the money is receiving money has always felt happy than receiving a bill the truth is that you always feel happy whenever money comes the rich people who put their money and invest in priority in the manner first to be rich second to be comfortable third to be secure as stated earlier, when it comes to money and investing, all the three priorities are important. Which other you put there is a very personal decision that should be made before beginning to invest. What people will put to be secure as priority one, rich people will put to be rich as priority one. So before beginning to invest, it is important to know the arrangement of your priorities. It is not money that makes rich people rich investors. Rich people have a thinking pattern that is opposite and contradicted the thinking of the poor. You need to understand the thinking pattern of the rich if you want to have the same financial power that you have. If you think that the rich people then you are not too far to be rich forever. What is the way of thinking and not having too much money in your account? You may have so much money in your bank account and yet you don't know how to invest it. When it comes to investment, I will advise you know the ultimate of business. You may ask why and I have two reasons for that. Reason number one, what we ultimately invest in is a business. If you invest in the stocks, you are investing in a business. If you buy a piece of real estate such as an apartment building, that building is also a business. If you buy a filling station, you are also investing in a business. So tell me, is it not good to know much about what you are investing in? The truth is that in order to be a good investor, you must be very good at the business. Reason number two is that the best way to invest is to have your business buy your investment for you. And the worst way to invest is to invest as an individual. The average investor knows little about business and often invests as an individual. And that is why I advise you spend so much time on the subject of business. You really need to learn how to build a successful business first. Many people are not rich because they invest as an individual and not as a business owner. Great wealth, bad fortune, and mega rich family were created during the industrial revolution. The same is going on in this information revolution also. I find it interesting that today we have so many self-made millionaire, billionaire at 40, 50, 60, and yet we still have people at 40, 50, 60 having tough time hanging up to $40,000 job a year. One reason causing this is the shift from industrial age to information age. When we shifted to industrial age, we have people like Harry Ford and Thomas Edison became a billionaire. 
Today we have people like Elon Musk, Aliko Dangote, Big Gates, etc. Be sure, first ask yourself if you are planning to be rich or you are planning to be poor. If you are planning to be poor, the older you get, the more difficult you find the financial world. The problem with being young is that you don't know what it feels like to be old. If you knew what being old felt like, you will plan your financial life differently. It is important to plan life as early as possible. As you all know, failure to prepare is the preparation to fail. Yeah, you've come to the end of this video, but don't forget just yet. The topic of investment and money is too large for me to cover in a single video just like this. So if you enjoyed this sort of documentary video on business, finance, investment, money, education, and life in general, I do recommend you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, turn on your notification bell, and stick to this channel as we are going to continue this topic another video. With all that being said, shout out to the best book that I ever read that heavily inspired me to create this video. Rich Dad's Guide to Investing Written by Robert T. Kiyosaki with Sharon, the authors of Read That Poor Dad. I highly recommend you to grab a copy. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for watching to the end of this video. I know you are sick and tired of YouTube people giving you the monologue of like the video. Comment down below, subscribe, so on and so forth. But once I do recommend you to do those things. Thank you.